G'day everyone. So, let me try something a bit different today. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard of Fuel Doctor or there's another one like Diesel Power, um, but they both claim to be able to break down water in fuel. Uh, so today, basically, going to be putting that to the test, seeing if Fuel Doctor will break down water and dirt in fuel. Alrighty, so we're going to be keeping this test pretty simple. Basically, I've got three separate containers. They've all been weighed out to 100 grams of diesel. So this is diesel that I literally got about five minutes ago down at my local server. Um, and pretty much what I'm doing, I'm going to keep one as a control and add some Fuel Doctor to that. Second one, I'm going to add about 10 grams of water. We're going to add Fuel Doctor to that and see if it breaks down the water. And the last one, I'm going to add 10 grams of fuel, uh, 10 grams of water and a bit of dirt as well. I'm not sure exactly how much, probably not much, but I want to see if it will break down dirt particles as well, real fine dirt particles that you might find um, that get stirred up from the bottom of a uh, Bowser tank when you go to fill up. So basically, we're going to start doing that now. So, we'll keep this one aside for the moment. We'll take this one here from the center. So this is just tap water that I got from the side of my house. Um, once these scales zero off, go to grams. So we're going to add 10 grams of water. Okay, a little bit over because it didn't want to correct itself, but um, well, who knows with these scales. <laughs> Alright, but as you can see there, there is now water sitting at the bottom of that. So, we'll go ahead and add our 10 mils of water to this one as well. Zero these off again. Beauty. Alright, I'll go get some dirt and put that in that one as well. Alright, so I've got some relatively fine um, dirt here. So I'm just going to add a bit of that. We'll go with that much. So, what's that? <laughs> three, three pinches of dirt. Um, so, I'll stir these all around, get them all mixed up, um, and then we'll start adding the fuel doctor and see what happens. Alright, so I just want to quickly show you guys um, what the separation looks like between diesel and water. So as you can see there, there's actually two layers um, quite distinctively. So that's the water sitting on the bottom and that's the diesel. So as you can tell, they don't really mix very well. Anyway, get onto the fuel doctor. Alright, so this is the one with the water. Let's mix that around. And this is the one with all the dirt particles and everything. And let's give them both a mix. Okay. So now with Fuel Doctor, it says to flash treat your system um, with half a litre first per tank and then go for one milliliter per litre after that. Um, but I want to do a test, say you've already pre-treated it, all that kind of thing, then you go and fill up somewhere and you pick up dirt. I want to see if their claim of one litre, well one milliliter per litre holds up. Now, one milliliter per litre obviously is 0.1 of a milliliter for 100 grams which I've got here so I'm actually going to do or we'll try and do one milliliter or one gram of Fuel Doctor which should be 10 times stronger than what they actually recommend um, that one's gone ahead and picked up a bit of dirt in there so I might try and get that out yep beautiful all right so this is a brand new bottle of Fuel Doctor I haven't opened this before I bought this two days ago to do this test It's a bit windy, that's why the scales are a bit all over the place because it shakes and then, okay. So we'll try and get one gram of Fuel Doctor. <laughs> the scales are working. It didn't change though when I was doing it. Keep going a little bit more. No, okay, that's definitely got to be a gram. I don't know what's going on there with the scales. I'll make sure the other one, we get an accurate measurement. But I'm going to stir that one up, sit it to the side, and we'll see what happens. Well, actually, I'll stir it now. Let's give that a quick mix. It's actually um, gone cloudy. I don't know if you guys can tell. But, yeah, something's definitely happening. All right, and we'll do the same thing for this one. So it's Okay, I don't know why the scales aren't working properly for this, but um, basically I've gone ahead and added a full capful to both of those. So, 
give that one a stir as well. We'll go ahead and add the cap full to the control. Now this is definitely more than a gram, I can guarantee that. Um, but it'll be quite interesting to see um, how this affects it. Because if it does break it down, uh, this will be quite good. It'll save you a lot of money in the long run if you did pick up some dirty fuel somewhere. All right, so I went back and watched the four drive action video um, again quickly. Now, one, actually it did work quite quickly and they didn't actually use too much, but um, this has been sitting there for about 10 minutes and it hasn't really done much. So I'm gonna go ahead and add another capful and I'll put uh, on the screen now how many mils of capful is. I'll work it out after I finish here. Um, but we'll go ahead and add another capful straight to that one. Another capful straight to that one. So give it another stir again. Now on their video it worked basically instantly. It turned um, really murky diesel into like perfect looking diesel, like you couldn't, um, you couldn't tell the difference to be honest. But as you can see, it's still looking quite murky, especially compared to our control on the left. Um, you can see how clear that is compared to the other two. I'm going to go ahead now, and I'm going to add 40 mils off of the bottle measurement um, straight to both of these ones. So, it's 40 mil there. And that's 40 mil there. So now if we just go off the 40 mils and work it out, um, they're saying one mil per litre. This is 100 grams of fuel, so I'm going to say 100 mils of fuel because I'm pretty sure diesel is a very similar weight, if not. Uh, well, obviously it's a little bit lighter than water, but um, it's definitely close. Okay, so just quickly off the top of my head, I'll double check this if I'm right, but basically adding 40 mils to this is basically adding 400 times more than what they suggest. Now, let's quickly go ahead and say it obviously has done something. As you can tell, the one on the left, the control, that has had Fuel Doctor added to it, and it's still clear. So, it's definitely doing something to the water, as you can tell how these two have definitely like, gone cloudy compared to the first one. So, it's obviously doing something, I just don't know. It's not doing enough, I wouldn't say. Um, especially if you get a real bad batch of fuel, that's not too unreasonable to suggest that much water got in. Um, so, we're going to go for it now. We're going to go ahead and add 100 millilitres of Fuel Doctor um, to the Just Water one. Because if that one doesn't go, the last one's definitely not going to go. So this is 100 millilitres of Fuel Doctor added to 100 grams of diesel with 10 grams of water. And this doesn't clear it up. I don't know what will. <laughs> All right, um, that's been sitting for about a minute now. That's looking a lot more promising. As you can see, there's no distinct separation anymore. Um, I'll go ahead and stir it up. And we'll see. You can see it's cloudy. It's definitely done something to that fuel. Whereas if you look at this one on the right, this one's still at 40 mils of fuel doctor, but it's just Pretty quickly you'll see this start to separate out again with the water and the diesel. So I may have been a bit optimistic with the amount of water I put in because 10 mils to 100 mils or 10 grams to 100 grams of um, diesel is 10%. So that's a fair bit really. So what we're going to go do now is in the control, I'm just going to add a splash of water in. So I don't know how much you would say that was. Um, this one has had the very small amount of fuel doctor in it, so that's had a capful. Um, and we'll see what happens with that one. All right, so I've let it settle for a second now, and you can see I've had to hold it up on an angle because there is such a small amount of water in here. 
but you can definitely see there's a little bit of water um, sitting in the bottom of that there and I'll just give it a quick stir for you so you can see that separation so that is water sitting in the bottom of that now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add about 10 mils of fuel doctor to this one I'm going to see if that's enough to uh, clear this fuel up because if that is that's actually all right Okay, so I'm going off the bottle measurements again. Can dump that in. Give this a stir. Okay, it's starting to go murky as you can tell. So it's definitely doing something to it. Okay, I'll give this a couple minutes to settle down again, and then we'll come back to you. All right, so I just wanted to go back to the um, the second one now that just had the water. And I thought from a distance it actually looked all right, but you can see there's actually three layers of separation on this one. Um, it's really strange. I don't know what's going on here. It's like the fuel doctor is actually separated out of the diesel. So, I don't know. <laughs> At this point in time, I'm not looking... I wouldn't be too confident um, putting this in to clear out my tank. I just and looking at this one still, this one definitely still has some water floating in there. I don't know if you guys can see that, um, but there's definitely still water floating in the bottom of that one. So yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, <laughs> not too impressed. All right, so I've done one last test now. This is the one that's got a couple of drops of water in it. Um, and I've just added 40 mils of fuel doctor to this one just to try and get this one to come good. Um, if this doesn't work though, yeah, I won't be too impressed to be honest. Um, I'll get the thing from their website up now. I'm pretty positive, 99% sure it said we'll break down water so that it can run through your fuel system without causing harm. But yeah, we'll have to see what this one does. Alright, and we finally have success. Um, so as you can see this is the one that had the droplets in it and that now has no water that I can see floating around it's been sitting for about five minutes to try and let it settle um, and I can't see any water in that so that's quite impressive the only thing that I don't like is how little they tell you to use I'll double check I'm, I'm pretty sure it said that we'll break down water but um even if it doesn't there you go it proves something that it does so yeah there you go I guess quite interesting well there you have it guys so apparently it does work <laughs> um, on a more realistic amount of water I will admit so that was I would say probably five oh, not even two mils three mils of water to that hundred mils of diesel um, and it has completely dissolved it I can't see any size of water in there anymore um, it didn't dissolve the dirt or anything but I wasn't expecting it to do that that was just the full other end of the scale to see if it did do that um, but there you have it so it will help if you do get dirty fuel to, um, to clean that up so I'm definitely going to start using that in every tank I think you now um, I'll yeah I'll probably add a bit more than they say because it did take a fair bit more ratio wise than what they suggest but it does work if you use enough of it so anyway guys I hope you enjoyed that video if you do make sure to drop a like comment down below and please hit that subscribe button Anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.